Welcome back. Well, we still had some exciting action in the NUIC tonight, starting with the Dupec Rivermen. They've had an undefeated season so far. Tonight for their homecoming, they hosted the Galena Pirates, and a win tonight would be huge for Dupec because they have, and this might be a little bit of a spoiler for our game of the week next week, but they are going to be playing the Lena Winslow Panthers, obviously Ooh. the toughest team in the yeah. conference, so it always helps to get a win right before that and stay undefeated. So let's find out if the Dupec Rivermen could do just that. Playing this one at Durand, they were at Pecatonica last week, so now to the other end of the co-op, but it was the Galena Pirates who started off strong, a touchdown drive in their opening drive of the game, so immediately the Rivermen got to get to work in this one, and who else are they going to call on? They're going to call on head coach, Coach Hoffman's son, Cooper Hoffman, to make something happen, and he can do it with his arm and his legs, and number three was feeling it in the ground game tonight. Galena just could not bring him down, gets him into the red zone, there now a handoff off to Lucas Rosso and he is in nice extension to get into the end zone and all of a sudden we are all tied up seven apiece and now on the next drive on offense for Dupac Cooper Hoffman just so elusive so shifty I don't know what it is that he does to stay on his feet but Galena just had no answers for him just spinning around and then powering his way into the end zone big time play for number three and he looks ready for Lena Winslow next week and Dupac wins this one 61 to 13 the final yeah, Eric, and going over to John O'Boyle Stadium. Check out this lovely sunset at Stockton as EPC Wildcats are in for a visit. Wildcats already up 8-0 early, third and four, when Draven Zaire breaks through the line for up for the races for a couple dozen yards in the Stockton territory. ISO cam on their handoff to Zaire blows past everyone and is finally dragged down around the five, picking up another 25 or so. It was totally Draven Z Zaire show at this point as he rumbles into the last few yards. You know they score when they hit that sand for the baseball field at the front of the end Touching zone. Touching tribute to Oakland. Yeah, 14-0 EPC. Stockton having a tough day on offense, though. Noah Larson on the scramble. Larson bringing it back to the line of scrimmage before Jackson Corbin hauls him down. Wildcats with one more shot before the first quarter ended, and the last two runs going to Jackson Kemple, who walks it in with barely a scratch. 20 to nothing first quarter lead for, uh, uh, yeah, for EPC. Stockton would get on the board later, but it was an all EPC with a 34 to 8 victory, Eric. Those Wildcats leaving you speechless, Josh, and I get it. What a surprise season they are having. They just can't be stopped. Can't wait to see what they continue to do. They just seem to get better week by week and now we got to take you to our play of the night and we're going to take you back out to titan stadium and this screen pass from julian jones to nick alvarez this is inside like i think it was like 30 seconds left in the first half the bucks capitalize off an interception with a beautiful play there by nick alvarez he had a stop on fourth down an amazing tackle he also had a touchdown pass on a fake punt but belvedere bucks cannot get the win but what a play from him and of course we're going to see all four of our top, our top four play of the week nominees on Sunday night. You'll be picking those out tomorrow or on Sunday. And of course, you could vote on that from Sunday night into Wednesday. But any final thoughts, Josh? I know Dixon really wowed you. We didn't know how this game was going to go, but really a statement win from the Dukes. Yeah, tonight. final thoughts. Every week it's getting better and better, man. And I mean, obviously, we're finishing up week five now. Before you know it, the playoffs are going to be here. And it's getting into that crunch time where these last four weeks are must-win games, and, and we'll see how it all pans out. Yeah, we're about to start getting some big-time matchups. We're past that halfway point and can't wait to see. You know, we were talking about Dupac and Lena Winslow. That's going to be a yeah. great game next week. But we are going to end it right there and go get everything ready for you and make sure you can uh, tune in on our top four plays of the week. That's coming up on Sunday night at 10. For Josh Rizek, I am Eric Graver. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next week for Week 6.